Hi, I'm Doris McKillen-Bradley, professor at George Brown College with the School of Hospitality, Tourism, Management. Welcome to our presentation of Magnums and Mondo Cheese to celebrate the 12 days of CHCA. I'm Alexis, I'm also studying in the F&B Management program. Hi, I'm Ms. Lee. I'm currently studying Food and Beverage Management program. I am come from Taiwan. Here we have the halloumi cheese. It's a cow milk cheese Yum. and it's quite firm. And what it's commonly referred to is as the squeaky cheese. <laughs> so when we bite into it, we get a little squeak in between our teeth. Now, I love cooking this cheese with a little bit of yogurt, madras spicing, mm. which is curry, fennel, turmeric, so you can really smell the exotic uh, yeah. uh, yes. aroma. That smells so lovely. It looks ready. So what I'm going to do nice. is I'm going to plate it up. Oh, that looks so good. And yeah. it's a great vegetarian alternative. Oh. Um, it's also great to have this as um, an aperitif. So you can put it in as an hors d'oeuvre. Mm -hmm. And you can see how it really takes a nice form uh, when you cook it, but you can see how nice and soft it is in the center. Yeah. Yes. What I like to do is squeeze a little bit of lemon over this because I think we have a beverage that's going to go really well with this. So I'll go ahead and pour it for us too. Okay. It's going to look a little darker than your traditional North American style lager. Wow. Okay. That's because, again, like I said, more of a Bavarian style recipe in this one here, right? We're also locally sourcing our hops from Tavistock here in Ontario too. Great little farm there. Now, was it Ontario one of the hops capitals of uh, Canada at one point? At one point, yeah. It's hard to convince a lot of farmers to invest the time into growing hops just because their maturity cycle and on top of that it is a monocultured crop so you're taking away the possibility of refreshing the land to just spending six to ten years even more on just developing hops so it's a it's a large upfront investment yeah that's, that's right but it was a really big cash crop in at mm -hmm. the turn of the last century and uh, i think we're getting back to this i know that there's a lot of producers yeah. that are um, very mm. anxious to grow their own hops. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> or I guess Prost, as the Prost. Germans would say. <laughs> it's like, tastes a little bit brown sugar. Yeah, so that's that nice multi character. Yeah. So you'll see it's a darker color than most North American lagers, mm -hmm. and that's where the taste will come from. Thank you. You're Thanks. welcome. So here's oh, our yeah. little tasting plate. You can <clears> see that there are, there are also green onions. I forgot to do the allergy alert. Mm -hmm. There are green onions in this. Mmm. <laughs> That is so good. Mm, Those spices I love this are. Curry. Do you like mm. that? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Nice. This combination is so good. Makes a nice crust over the cheese mm -hmm. too, while it's in the pan. That's now, great. Wow. With the beer, it brings out these caramel-like notes mm -hmm. in the beer, and the hops. What? What is the hops? I'm sorry, I missed uh, the. So, from what we're bringing in from Tavistock, there are going to be a couple different hop varieties in here. I think the most dominant one that you're going to be tasting is probably the Cascade hop. So that brings some nice like earthiness to it. It's more of the, I guess, peat of the side of the hops mm -hmm. rather than the citrus fruity side of the hops. This is so exciting. Uh, yeah. And it's so exciting to have you at the college. Uh, Thanks to be, for having me here and to, in your class. I've been learning so much too. It's been a great yes, time. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> and, and same here. I learn from you as much as you learn from me. Magnums actually uh, help with the way a sparkling wine ages. Oh, really? It does. Because it of does. the larger format? Exactly. So in here, oh, yum. I have a beautiful brie wheel and okay. i've been simmering this on about medium mm. this can be done in the oven as well so it has the full bloom on it and if i may can i get you to lift the plate so that thank you there's this is teamwork 
There we go. A bit of oh. twister too. Oh. Yeah, teamwork and twister. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is add a little bit of gremolata made with some cashews, hmm. some sunflower seeds, and just a tiny bit of honey and finish it Yum. off with a little bit of brown sugar. Yeah. I usually just cut up some cheddar or some well, mozzarella. I, th <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I think it's important to uh, try different things mm -hmm. and taste uh, sweetness, sourness, a little bit of acid uh, to see how they interact with each other. And I'm just going to finish this off with a little bit of lemon of mm. orange zest nice aroma really nice aroma yeah. now because i've made a little bit of a sweeter dish here um, the rule of thumb is to ensure that your wine is as sweet if not sweeter than the dish that you're serving okay mm -hmm. so let's give this a taste this is the uh, martini and rossi asti spumante Asti's. from oh. piedmonte so okay. Cheers. Nice aroma. Yes. Okay, let's mm -hmm. taste it. Oh, yeah. Sweet. That is nice and sweet. <laughs> <Yes>. Oh, that's... <laughs> okay. Mm, a little bit. <laughs> really, so, really light patio on this one, though. Very light. We're working up and then drop down. And and a little bit less alcohol. Yeah. So if I may, I'm just going to give you a little tester yes. here. Okay. of the Mondo cheese wheel. And I love to work with this cheese. It's nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. It's versatile. You can make it savory or sweet. And it's I, a great home style dish too. Exactly. Definitely the type mm -hmm. of thing you can prepare in advance and just leave in your oven until it's go time. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And you could see how quickly um, this comes yeah. together. So there we go. Thank you. You're Let's welcome. Give try. Let's give it a try. Yes. And. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now the wine. Oh, that brew's so gooey. Isn't That's it? That's great. And these are all Canadian cheeses. Thank you, Canadian cows. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Wow, that pear is just so great. Yes. Some really nice tropical fruits mm -hmm. coming from that, maybe probably from the oranges and the cranberries, I'm going to guess. Yes, ab absolutely. Yeah. And with the brown sugar, there's some brown sugar notes in mm -hmm. that wine as well. Yes. Uh, Moscato oh, is the great. Mm. Nice. Okay. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. So we had a little bit of savory, a little bit of sweet, mm -hmm. a big pop. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Cheers. 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 <laughs>